evening. Let's take a look at a live picture from the News 10 Skywatch. It is hazy, hot, and humid out there. Perfect conditions for some summertime thunderstorms. News 10's meteorologist John Belares is live in the Weather Center with Stormwatch details. John? Yeah, Tracy, and a line of uh, strong to severe thunderstorms moving this way. Arrival time somewhere between 6 and 7 o'clock this evening through the city, 7, 8 o'clock as you move down towards the shore. Let's check it out for you right now. A severe thunderstorm watch for the possibility of severe thunderstorms up until 9 o'clock. That's throughout the greater Philadelphia region. Severe thunderstorm meaning the possibility of hail, possible tornadic activity, and strong damaging wind along with the dangerous lightning. It's until 11 o'clock across Delaware. We're going to take a look now at the radar. You can see Doppler radar picking up the red the intense thunderstorms. We have a severe thunderstorm warning now for Berks County. That's until 525. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for Lehigh County and the Lehigh Valley. That's until 555. Radar picking up a severe thunderstorm cell moving through that region right now as we speak. Pull back view and you can see the line is very extensive as we pull back on the latest uh, tri-state region here. Pull back and I guess we're not going to have that pull back view of the uh, line of showers and thunderstorms. But we do have that Line moving through again, arrival time in and around the city between the hours of 6 and 7 o'clock, down the shore between the hours of 8 and 9 o'clock. I'll have more details a little bit later on in this broadcast. Tracy? All right, John, we'll see you then. Even if we do get heavy downpours, it won't be enough to ease the drought across the Delaware Valley. We need a steady rain over an extended period of time. State officials tell News 10 some corn crops in Newcastle County are being damaged by the continuing dry spell. Statewide, farmers expect yields to be down. Soybean crops are also suffering. Agricultural officials say Newcastle County is the hardest hit of Delaware's three counties. Our other this is very busy this afternoon with storms rumbling through our area. Warnings have been going off all afternoon, John. Yeah, the alarms keep going off every five minutes at least, Tracy. The severe storms are breaking out like a, what, like a growing rash. We have a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, just issued right now by the National Weather Service. We're going to go through it step at a time. Okay, Berks County until 525 for the next few minutes there's a severe cell moving through there right now we have a severe thunderstorm warning in lehigh county that's until 555 a severe thunderstorm cell is moving through there and again they're accompanied by dangerous lightning winds in excess of 58 miles per hour possible hail and always that chance of tornadic activity as well okay we have a severe thunderstorm warning in northampton county Bucks County, Montgomery County, until 6.05 this evening as some heavy, severe storms moving through that region. And we have a severe thunderstorm warning in Chester County until 6.20. You can see a very active evening. We have a very strong cold front moving this way. Everywhere else, there's a severe thunderstorm watch in the area until 8 o'clock throughout the greater Philadelphia region, central and just north of southern Jersey. And then we have a severe thunderstorm warning until 11 o'clock across Delaware, and that's until 11 o'clock, and that also includes southern New Jersey as well. Okay, Doppler radar picking up a line of intense thunderstorms. There it is now moving through Allentown. The red, the very intense ones, purple in here, extremely intense. Those are the severe cells. They continue to move to the east, 20 to 30 miles an hour. We'll be moving through the city and the immediate surrounding suburbs over the next couple of hours and then more towards Jersey, southern Jersey later on. That's why they're watching until, it's until 11 o'clock tonight because the cells will get down there a little bit later on. Okay, look at the wide view here. You can see the intense activity that continues to move in our direction. Earthwatch flyby. We fly you into the strong cold front. Continues to march this way. The hot humid air out ahead of it and the nice, cool, dry air behind it. When the two get together, that is the battle zone right in there. And that's why that vicious line is now breaking out, out ahead of this strong cold front. Humid air right there, the dry air beginning to move in from the north and west. So, down the shore, look out until 11 o'clock tonight. But for now, you're okay next couple of hours, and after that, take cover. Shore watch for tomorrow, fine. Sunshine after morning clouds, lower humidity, and a nice afternoon. Your forecast for tonight, strong to severe 
storms through early tonight. We have the watch in and around the region until 8 o'clock. The severe thunderstorm watch for southern... A severe thunderstorm warning until 6.20 now being posted for Chester. There you see the boxed areas. And, of course, a severe thunderstorm warning for Berks and Lehigh counties. That covers the specifics of all the watches and warnings out. Now, let's take the box away. And we show you this line of thunderstorms, which is developed with all the heat and humidity that we have. It's just developed right on schedule here. During the next couple of hours, we expect it to move through. We'll set it in motion. You can see how it uh, moves in our direction, some cells, and then it just intensifies on a pretty good line as it approaches the tri-state area. And we'll continue to watch that line on this Wednesday, the ninth day of the month of July. The heat is just building out here, and we're going to have some heavy hitters. All right, present temperature reading has dropped down to 89 degrees. The humidity at 48 percent. The barometer is now 2983. It is falling, and winds are out of the south, southwest at 18 miles an hour. A pretty good gust to uh, 25 miles per hour. And just as I say that, it goes very calm here on uh, City Line Avenue. Perhaps the proverbial calm before the storm. Yesterday's high, 91 degrees. Today, we got up to 93 degrees and our low was 70 degrees early this morning. All right, what's the call for Mackey Weather for this evening? You saw all the watches and the warnings. You saw all the areas. Uh, we're going to post a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 p.m. this evening. The overnight low, 66 degrees. We could have some strong, gusty winds. There could be some lightning, some hail. So uh, be advised and take cover when these systems kind of move through. All right, for tomorrow, we get the system out of here quickly. And uh, by tomorrow, we should have less humid conditions. Going to feel a heck of a lot better. Mostly sunny skies, 84 degrees. That system should move out quickly. And if that is the case, then Friday, 86 degrees. Saturday, 88 degrees. Lots of sunshine. Looks like we're going to have another very nice summer weekend coming up. But right now, we have to contend with heavy hitters getting closer. We continue to watch it for you on Action Radar. That's a okay. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. Thanks a lot, Bob. Yes, uh, once again, storms hammering the northeastern part of the nation. The weather pattern is such that we've just had a lot of thunderstorms, some of them severe. Of course, you can remember just before the 4th of July, the night before, the tornadoes in Massachusetts, the wind damage in the Hudson Valley. Then again since then, and now the third time in about the last week that we're seeing uh, severe weather moving through much of southern New England and down to parts of New Jersey. Let's take a look at our severe weather watches right now, and we have a couple of them showing from Massachusetts back through the Hudson Valley of New York. Remember the other night, planes flipped over south of Albany, New York. Well, we're getting plenty of severe reports once again from lower New York State and on into Connecticut, New Jersey, and even Pennsylvania. Another severe watch, a parallelogram-shaped area uh, south of the Mason-Dixon line through parts of Virginia, Delaware, and Maryland, where we've already had a report in Oakland, Maryland, east of uh, Morgantown, of some three-quarter inch hail today. So things are popping all over. A warm front, cold front combo snaking its way through the northeast, 
the warm push of tropical air up the east coast, some of it tempered by a sea breeze, and north to northwesterly winds coming down. More chilly weather in the Great Lakes today, but that's setting up a battle zone, a boundary, uh, along which we're getting a lot of severe weather. Look at how far north the high dew points go. 66 degree dew point, folks sweating it out in Arista County, Maine today, to 69 New York, 71 West Virginia, Charleston, Dallas 75. So there's a lot of juice around, a lot of tropical humidity as our warm front pushes northward into Maine. And uh, this is all tropical air. Low pressure is gaining some strength in western PA and New York State. Northwest winds coming down behind the front are converging with these tropical southerly winds and that convergence line. Well, you know what? Winds coming together like that have no place to go but up. So the rising motion gives you those thunderstorms that are very strong. And still kind of steamy even in Boston, 85. Bangor is rain cooled now with 70. 86 in New York, down from 90, 92 in Washington, D.C., so the heat factor is there. And you can see the, the line of clouds and thunderstorms just fighting against that tropical air that's coming up from the southwest. Northerly winds, a push. Cold air is denser than warm air, so the cooler thunderstorm air will win out and push that warm air out to sea. Already calming down a little bit around Casco Bay, Portland. Moving into the North Shore areas around Boston, strong thunderstorms, Danbury, Connecticut, southward. And now Sussex, Warren, and Hunterton counties in New Jersey with severe thunderstorm warnings. Here they come. Northern part of Fairfield County, an unusually strong thunderstorm. Once again, moving out of Columbia County into Berkshire County about the third or fourth time this week. Uh, right on into Rockland and Orange County. We've had some reports of wind damage in Orange County, New York, and slicing through Washington, New Jersey, the Delaware Water Gap, through York County, Pennsylvania, even to the northwest of Washington, D.C. So there's still a lot of severe weather on the map and potentially more. Philadelphia, within about an hour, an hour and a half, you may get hit. New York, they're still holding north of you, but don't get too complacent. It's on the way. Hartford, just about through your area, but Boston, here it comes. Even the North Shore area is getting hit uh, already. West Virginia has had an accident. They're still taking a lane. Ben Franklin Bridge, the next shot. You can see traffic going across the bridge doing all right. The Walt Whitman's okay, but the freeway off the Walt Whitman, that's backed up from the bridge to Creek Road. Brad, uh, south, on, uh, south on 295, that is in Jersey, still backed up the Black Horse Pike back to the 42 freeway. On the Philadelphia side, the Vine Expressway pretty much slow at the Schuylkill up to Broad, and again, mostly just because of the rush hour exodus. That's the latest from the News 10 Metro Traffic Center. I'm Mark Davies. Thanks, Mark. See you guys. I was moving through the area, and John's tracking them all. John? Yeah, and uh, Harry was just kind of updating the latest radar and just putting it on the screen, and everything's all set now. We're ready to go. It's been real busy in the weather center, tracking a, a vicious cold front moving this way. It's right now located, stretching across the Lehigh Valley, back down towards the Susquehanna Valley. Let's get right to it and first check out the weather net. This is the simple part of this uh, weathercast. Check it out for you right now. Lenape Middle School had a high today of 91. It was juicy out there this afternoon. The humidity levels were way up there. Right now at 54%, temperature standing at 80 degrees right now. First, let's do the severe thunderstorm warnings, the most important. It's happening right now, a severe cell moving through Lehigh County in the Lehigh Valley. That's up until 555 this evening for the next 10 minutes there. And then a severe thunderstorm warning for Northampton, Bucks County, and Montgomery County. That is until 605. Severe cells moving through this neck of the woods. We have a severe thunderstorm warning until 620. That means it's happening, folks. In Chester County, that is until 620. Doppler radar picking up a line of intense thunderstorms. Okay, a watch for everywhere else except southern Jersey and Delaware. Right now, the watch for southern Jersey and Delaware is until 11 o'clock. The greater Philadelphia region is until 8 o'clock because the line is moving northwest to southeast. Hit this region first, this section next. All right. Doppler radar. Here we go. Look at the red right in there. That is a line of intense thunderstorms, folks. Uh, a history of damaging wind, dangerous lightning. Wind may uh, be in excess of 58 miles an hour, possible hail, and always the possibility of tornadic activity. So you can see it's still about an hour and a half away from the city, moving to the east about 20. It will be just coming on through, let's say, between 6.30 and 7.30 in this region, and then heading on down the shore between 8 and 10 o'clock in Delaware, uh, 8 and 10 o'clock tonight. All right, wide view. This is an extensive line. It goes all the way up to Beantown in Boston, back down through New York City, west of New York City, northwest New Jersey, west of Philadelphia right now, going through west of D.C., and you can see all the way down to Virginia. This is a cold, strong cold front that continues to push 